Right, uh, hello again, it's uh, Pro's Jimmy here and today I want to talk to you about something we use called the uh, contact system. Uh, what it is basically is an ITC device. Um, the idea was thought of by Ron from the Pro's team in Oklahoma. Um, we've been using it for the past couple of years uh, with some pretty amazing results really. Uh, what it is is we have, in this case, three ghost boxes. Um, normally we have a fourth audio source, which is a microphone going into this. But for the benefit of today, as I'm going to be playing it through a speaker, so you can all hear it, um, if I had a microphone there, it would call to feedback. So that's the reason why I'm not using a microphone. And when I normally record this, I will record it internally without a speaker into a digital recorder but uh, seeing as like, I want you all to hear it today if I done it that way you wouldn't be able to hear anything at all until I uh, play back the results so what I will do is I'll upload what I record on this to the end of the video and let you all have a listen through it okay what we've got here the easiest way to explain it is I've got two goes boxes here that I'll scan. This one I'll have tuned to white noise. So if I switch this one on, you can hear I've just got tuned to white noise. This one, I'll start scanning. Here scanning like any other normal ghost box. And this one, Believe it or not, it's the 12588, I think it's the one up from this one. Um, let's switch it on so it decides to scan. It's a little bit quieter, but you can hear the idea. So what we want to do, we want to mix these three together so we get a nice level sound and then we'll use that as a background noise for ITC and questions okay like a normal ghost box session so if I start Okay, that'll do now, but you get the idea of how this works, so I'll just stop that quickly. Um, you get the idea of how they all mix in, of course, I'll normally take more time to mix them all in so I'll get a nice level sound, but we'll continue with a few questions now, possibly five or six, just so you get the idea, see if we get any responses, and then hopefully I'll be able to play this back at the end of the recording, or the video, and you'll be able to hear what we got, if we got anything at all. Um, I'll like say most of my sessions I try to contact other ITC researchers in the, from the past like Klaus Schreiber, Royal Dave or Raoul Devey, however you want to say his name. Um, so I'll try that, I'll try for Constantine Raoul Devey or Raoul Dave, however you want to pronounce his name and see if we get any responses. Turn that on, start the call. Make sure they're all scanning. Okay, I'm asking for a researcher called Constantine Raldevay. If there is any way you can make contact with me, could you please say yes, I can? I know you've contacted other researchers in the past. If you have done so, could you please say, yes, I have. Okay, there was a possible response there, a faint one. Okay, I think I heard a response. Could you please say that again? 
say, yes, I did. Okay, Dr. Radway, could you possibly tell me what country you were born in? Okay, again, I think I've heard the response. If you did respond to me then, Dr. Radway, could you please repeat that response? You worked with another doctor, Mr. Raldway, could you possibly tell me his name? Okay, if you are able to contact, make contact with me, could you please say the word grasshopper? Okay, what I'll do there, I'll end it there, just so that was just so you can get the idea um, of how we do it. But the thing is, what is important, we use things called control questions, where we're not just asking open-ended questions, such as how many are there, are you there, what's your name? We're asking them to repeat their name in a full sentence, like my name is, or if they do so, say something, could they give us another word that we ask for in response so we know it's a definite response. But like I say, this is video is purely informational, we just want to show you some other methods we use because it's quite important to us and like I say all these devices are interchangeable, we've used the diode in here before, uh, a different number of microphones and only two ghost box boxes. I say the way you can switch this about with different devices works quite well, but we just like to try and take ITC in a different direction and hope it uh, catches on or inspires someone to do something new. So I'm going to leave it at that. Like I say, I'll upload the recording at the end of this video. And uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks again for watching and uh, see you soon.